This is the second video in the series of videos on how to create a RESTful API using Python and Flask. In the last video, we covered how to do GET requests, and in this video, we're going to cover how to do POST requests. So before we get started, I want to show you this Chrome extension called Postman. This is going to be used to send requests to the API endpoints. Um, because we won't be able to use the browser to do post requests, at least not easily. So right here I have a git request set up for the lang endpoint that I created in the first video. And when I send it, I get back the list of languages. So I still have the same code from the first video. In this video, I'm going to add another endpoint to cover posts. And it's actually going to be the same endpoint as this one. The only difference is instead of using the git method, we're going to use the post method. So let's get started building that. So we have to start off with app.routes and we're going to use the same endpoint as before, but the only difference will be the method will change. Instead of a git, it will be a post request. And with this post request, we're going to add to our list of dictionaries. In a real application, you would probably update the database in some way or insert into the database. But for our purposes, we're only going to pin to the languages list that we created in the first video. So I'm going to call the function that's called by this route um, add one. And adding another element to this languages list will be pretty simple. The first thing we have to do is extract the the language that the user will add. So to do that we'll create a dictionary. We'll call it language just to keep with the naming convention and it's going to be a dictionary with the name as the key and the value is going to be the value retrieved from the JSON that was sent along with the post request. So sending the post request will always have a JSON object accompanying it that represents the new language that's going to be added to our list of languages. So to extract that value from the JSON object that's sent along with the post request, we're going to use the request object, which was included above. And the request object has a dot JSON method. And this JSON method simply will return the value for whatever key you specify. So the dictionary that we're going to send with the post request is going to have the same form as the dictionaries up here. So it's going to be name and then some language. So we want the value for whatever the name is. So this here, request.json name, will return whatever name uh, the user specifies and creates a new dictionary um, with the name as the key and that value returned from the JSON as the value. And then using that language dictionary, we're going to append to the languages list of dictionaries. So languages.append and simply add the language there. And then finally, what we want to do is we want to return everything. So we're going to return the list of languages that have been updated after appending the language that the user specified. So return the JSONified version of languages with the values languages. And that's it. So let's see if the server restarted. Well, it did. So we're going to go over to Postman. And instead of using a git request, we're going to change this to a post request. And we have to send along a JSON object with the post request. So here in the body section, what we want to do is we want to create a JSON object with the new language we're going to add. So let's add C++ as the language. So now when I send this post request, it should add C++ to the list of languages. So instead of having three JavaScript, Python, and Ruby, it will have four JavaScript, Python, Ruby, and C++. Let's see if it works. 
So here's what's returned, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, C++. So you can tell that it was added to the list of languages. Let's add another one. Instead of C++, let's do Go. And now our list has five languages in it. So post requests are really that simple. Uh, the most important part is just using the request object to extract whatever data is sent in the JSON object that comes along with the post request and using that data in the JSON object to update whatever objects you have um, or any database that you may have. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to do put requests, which are traditionally used in RESTful APIs for updating, whereas posts were for inserting, the puts will be for updating something in the database. So I'll see you in that video.